All right, what is going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you guys the best mortar decks in this meta. I did one last season and you guys seem to love it. So I'm gonna do it again. Let me know down in the comments and leave a like if you guys enjoy this. So I, I can keep making these, this type of uh, content for you guys. We're gonna be playing mortar bait, top ladder. It looks like we're up against Royal Giant. Um, now I'm gonna be showing you guys a bunch of different decks. This one's mortar bait. I'm gonna show you guys mortar hog. I'm gonna show you guys mortar prince. Um, you know, the, the combinations are endless. We'll get a Royal Recruits one in here. All of the good mortar decks and I'll show you guys how to play them or at least uh, give you guys as many tips as I can. The last deck is also going to be the best deck in the meta right now. I mean, obviously mortar bait reigns supreme. I'm using it in top ladder. I'm in, I'm in the boat, about the top 2000. So it's a very solid deck. Mortar bait is my favorite, but there is a very good minor poison deck out right now, so I'll show you guys that one. Um, and let's just get right into it. I will put a timestamp on all of the decks so you guys can kind of pick through and see what you like and choose your deck based on what you're struggling with. If you're struggling against Beatdown, I'd recommend the Mortar Prince deck. If um, you're struggling against Spam, then maybe the Minor Poison deck might work out for you. And if you're an absolute Giga Chad, then I would recommend this uh, Mortar Bait deck because that's just the way she goes. So uh, let's play our little Prince here. He's going to Fireball. I'm not too worried about that Fireball damage. Um, now when you're playing against Royal Giant, one of the hardest things that you want to do is choosing when you play an Evolved Mortar and when you play, or not an Evolved Mortar, sorry, an Offensive Mortar and when you play Defensive Mortar. So I don't have my Little Prince in Cycle right now, so I'm just going to cycle my Knight in the back here. Got some spectators, so we can't choke this. Um, and now I have my Little Prince in Cycle, so now I'm comfortable playing an Evil Mortar because I have my Little Prince to back it up because he's probably going to play a Royal Giant on my Evil Mortar. Um, now another thing when you're playing against Royal Giant is you need to have something in front of your little prince when you're playing. So this guy, he has, um, he's gonna have fishermen, right? So it's really important that you have your knight in front of your little prince. That's crazy that he just fireballed my poor little prince there. <laughs> but um, the basically when you're playing a little prince and he plays a Royal Giant, you need to have your knight in front of your little prince so that he cannot pull your little prince with the fisherman because that's what that's when the deck becomes really dangerous. It's the fisherman that makes or breaks Royal Giant when you're playing against it with using mortar bait. Um, we're just gonna defend this very easily. I feel like I'm spamming so much I need to start taking like creatine or something or start doing some some gym workouts for my fingers honestly so I can just spam quicker but um you know this is this is gonna be a, a pretty good matchup here I think we've got this we'll we'll take out that skeleton barrel the reason why I went for a defensive mortar here is just because I didn't have a little prince in cycle so if I went for an offensive mortar I know he would have punished me with that little giant and it wouldn't have been fun I'm gonna fireball this little prince Anytime I can get a fireball on the tower and take out his little prince, it's definitely worth it. Um, that's when it's really good fireball value. Let's play the knight in front of our little prince here to take it out, but I think we're sitting in a pretty good position here. I don't think this guy is going to be able to do very much against us. Um, now, my Christmas gift to you guys is I'm going to give you guys all of the best tips I can so that I can get you guys into Royal Champion, or not Royal Champion, Ultimate Champion, or Royal Champion, wherever you are. I want to get you guys higher because I love you guys so much, and uh, we got the Evil Mortar lock, so this guy is in a bit of trouble here. Um, let's just play our little prince in the middle here just in case, but I think we're in Fireball Log territory now. We'll play the Skeleton Barrel. If we get a connection, then we can just Fireball the tower, but um, I'm not going to just randomly Fireball just to be safe. Um, I don't think we're going to have to counter that little prince on the left unless he uses the ability. The mortar should just take it out. I think we can log here. I don't know what the damage is in level 15 yet. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be enough for a fireball. Let's see. Okay, it is actually going to be. So that's a pretty good win. He gives up anyways. Really good game. And let's get on to the next one. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let's do this. All right, guys. This next deck is honestly my favorite deck, okay? I mean, other than mortar bait, this is the first deck that I ever used to play with mortar it's mortar with prince and it's so much fun to use and it's a great deck to learn how to play mortar with um looks like we're up against expo most likely so that's depressing okay no we're not we're not up against expo i don't know what this is but it's not expo um prince is so much fun to use with mortar and i'll show you guys why in a second here but uh please please try it out if you're watching this right now and tell me what you guys think of this deck when you play it it's in my opinion it is a great deck to learn mortar with because um you you know you won't get punished for making a mistake necessarily because you have the prince to kind of bail you out and make some crazy plays with so if you're trying to learn mortar if you're playing mid ladder mortar this is a great deck okay this is the one i used to get good with mortar like two years ago this was a meta deck it's not anymore or it wasn't it is now but um it's even better now because you can use little prince with it you couldn't use little prince when i was playing it obviously it's a great deck please try it out um and let's do it uh 
I'll show you guys kind of the default push that I always love to do with this deck. It's it's a lot of fun. So you play your Prince in the back here. I don't know why this guy's laughing. Um, and then you just play, you play your Mortar right here. And I feel like people just struggle with this. He's going to go for the Bomb Tower. Um, that's going to get absolutely obliterated. And now we have the Lock on Tower. And the Infernal Dragon is going to take out our Mortar. But we're going to get really good damage out of that. And that's just, that's, that's literally all you have to do. It's just every single time you just have to play your Mortar um you play your you play your prince in the back and they're not going to make a push because um you know your 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 prince is it really shuts down anything so like it's it's not like you don't have good defense with this deck by playing prince the prince shuts everything down if this guy goes for a royal giant i am going to absolutely just charge it with the prince and take it out he's going to play a defensive bomb tower i'm not too sure about that but okay um, I'm gonna let that fire spirit go into my tower again I'm just gonna start my prince in the back and then I you just go for the evil mortar right there Let's play the Knights up high just in case I'm gonna fireball this we didn't even need to that's gonna be taken out and that this that's game There's the we're gonna I know we're for a fact. We're gonna take this tower um, Actually, okay. I, I lied. I did not I I'm I I don't know what happened there. I I did not say whatever you guys thought I was going to say, but we, we got some really, really, really good damage there, so it's worth it. And the Prince is just going to absolutely shred this Royal Giant, so go ahead and do your worst, my friend. And now we got the Prince going opposite lane. I'm going to kind of put a little bit of pressure on him here with the Miner. The nice thing is you can still use a Miner to get really good chip damage. Um, you know, be really annoying. Miner's crazy, especially with the Evo. Um, or not Evo, sorry, with the champion, the, the little prince. You can get a pretty crazy miner cycle going if you need to. You'll see here, I'm just going to play my little prince. Let's go for another miner right here. If he goes for a royal giant, I will just do this. Um, it's not going to work, my good friend. You just got countered very hard. I'm just, I'm going to give him a good game now. He was, he was, he was laughing a little bit. I, I don't know what was so funny to him, but let's go for a miner fireball. I don't even care about that royal giant. Because I am a Mortar Prince user and I am here to take over. Let's just log this princess just in case. Um, and then we just have to cycle back to a Fireball, which should be very easy. I'm going to play my Prince right here. And we have our Miner. Just in case he plays a Royal Giant, though, I'm just going to play a Defensive Mortar right here. And that's game. I will now just Fireball his tower. And very easy please try this deck out i love it let me know if you guys love it and now going. hog mortar is definitely a solid deck choice to be using um i would say the hog mortar is awesome for mid ladder especially he's gonna go for the peck in the back so i'm just gonna pressure opposite lane now when you're playing with hog mortar if they're gonna play something really heavy in the back don't be afraid to uh change things up and you know pressure opposite lane i'm gonna keep my goblins just in case he's gonna play a magic archer i'm gonna play my knight so far on this side so that the pekka also follows the knight. Um, that magic archer might be a little bit annoying, but I think we'll be okay. We can just do this. Then we can just play our mortar up high, and that'll even pull the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, and then we can just wait, and we can pull everything with the ice spirit, and we should be okay. And then we can just play our little prince here to help out with the magic archer. He's going to go for a poison. I think he's going to be low on elixir, so let's just pressure with the hog rider again. That is the really nice thing when you're using this deck. Um, if they're low on elixir, you can really punish somebody with a hog rider. And because you have the mortar as well, you have so much offensive power. Now, the only thing is playing defense might be a little bit um, more challenging than often. But honestly, I actually think this is an amazing deck because you have lightning, which you don't often see with mortar. But lightning is so strong in this meta right now because, you know, there's the E-Giant and Goblin Giant decks just running rampant everywhere. Even the Mega Knight decks, which is crazy to me. I don't know how that happens. Um... So, you know, there's there's just so much. Let's play our Little Prince in the back here. This is kind of the go-to way on how to defend, is you play the Little Prince in the back. Where let's use our Little Prince ability here. Hopefully we can kind of jam that um, Battle Ram a little bit. Now we're going to get a pretty wicked counter push going. He gets a little bit of damage, but I think we'll be okay. Let's just wait. And then let's get the Hog Rider right behind the Guardian. And he's going to play a Magic Archer, which is not going to do enough damage to defend successfully. So we're going to take this tower pretty easily. I don't think there's going to be any issues with that. Um, let's play our Knight here. And then we have the Evil Mortar, so we can pressure opposite lane now. And I think this guy is probably going to be in a bit of trouble pretty quick here. So yeah, this deck is honestly, it's, it's very simple. It's literally just playing like you would any other Mortar deck, but you have the Hog Rider to put in a ton of extra work. Um, let's go for the Hog Rider in the pocket here. 
He's going to play a P.E.K.K.A. in the pocket, but we're still going to get a hit or two. Let's play Defensive Mortar right here. Um, anything that I need, any big tips that I can give you guys with this deck is don't be afraid to use your Lightning defensively sometimes. Um, you know, if you're playing against, like, Balloon, let's say, a Defensive Lightning is actually going to go a really long way. He's going to play a Battle Ram and Zap. I'm going to play my Low Prince right here, and then just use the ability just so that I can push all of that back. And then, uh, I'm honestly, I'm going to play a Defensive Hog Rider just to make that Royal Ghost move. Uh, good game, interesting deck. It's uh, Mortar with Royal Recruits. We don't have a counter for that Skeleton Barrel first play. That's pretty annoying. Um, now, Mortar with Royal Recruits is, honestly, it's kind of just using everything good in one deck. Um, it's it's a very popular deck, don't get me wrong. A lot of pros are going to be using this deck. You'll see, a, you'll see a ton of pros using this deck because it is a pretty solid deck, don't get me wrong. Um, we're just going to play the Minion Horde to take out that Mega Knight because I don't want to deal with him. He got the jump off, but again, that's not too big of a deal. We didn't have the greatest starting hand, and you do have to play a little bit slower with this deck. But, anyways, uh, Royal Recruits are so strong, honestly, in this meta. And so, I feel like that's kind of why you'll see Royal Recruits with this deck. Um, and it's just, it's so much fun. And one of the nice things is your Mortar doesn't have to be your main source of damage, which is nice uh, because you have a bunch of different minor pushes. Let's let's use the Skeleton King ability. I w usually wouldn't use it unless it's fully charged up, but this guy was so aggressive that, uh, you know, like we took a bit of damage at the start, but we're going to take his tower pretty much off the start here. And that just kind of goes to show how powerful this deck is. Um, playing defense is a little bit more challenging, but you can punish like crazy he's gonna go for a skeleton balloon because i think he thinks we don't have a light spell um but i do have arrows i just didn't have it at the start because you were lucky he's gonna go for a bandit he's just gonna try to bridge spam us now um now a couple tips that i would give you guys is go ahead and play your recruits right away you want to play recruits as much as you can to cycle to the evil recruits because they're so strong um it's only a one card cycle so you can get them a couple times in a matchup and then number two is your skeleton king is kind of your tank um, you know, in a lot of mortar decks, you might be running, uh, you know, you'll have Knight or you'll have, um, you know, Valkyrie or Ice Golem, whatever. Um, but in this deck, your Skeleton King is your tank. So just kind of remember that. Don't be afraid to use him defensively. Um, he's got, he's really good offensively. Don't get me wrong, but you know, definitely don't be afraid to use him, um, defensively as well. You can also use a defensive minor if you need to. Um, that's always an option because that is a tanky card as well. He's going to play his Snowball, so I'm literally going to play my Minion Horde here. And then I'll just split my Goblin Gang over here, but that Minion Horde should clear things up. Minion Horde is honestly so good defensively. It's uh, it's pretty crazy. Let's just use Arrows just to be safe. No point in risking anything. He's going to go for a um, Little Prince ability. I'm going to play my Miner just up high. That Firecracker is going to be kind of annoying to deal with. He's going to go for a Snowball Prediction. Then I'm just going to play my Skeleton King again right here. Um, I'm going to use my Arrows now just to get that value. Let that Skeleton Barrel kind of drop early, and then just play the Spirit Goblins behind. And that's going to be game. Good game, and good luck. I would definitely recommend trying this deck out if you have the Skeleton King leveled, but I know champions are not super easy to come by. This last deck is definitely the strongest, however, it is also probably the hardest to use. You'll see this deck being played by a lot of pros. It's probably the most meta deck right now out of all of them. I mean, it doesn't compare to Mortar Bait because, you know, I'm a little bit biased, but um, it is a really good deck. A lot of pros are playing it right now. Now, the logic and consensus with this deck is that you don't need to use a Knight because you have the Little Prince. And that's what kind of makes it a little bit challenging because, you know, in traditional Mortar decks, you have one tank in almost every deck. In this one, you don't because the Little Prince is the perceived tank so basically what that means is you have to play it in a way that you can play your little prince ability when needed okay now we're up against hog rider i'm going to show you guys a really good way to beat hog rider and that's really it's really simple you just play your mortar at the bridge when he goes for a hog rider okay now we're we went to go split our minions in the back but it didn't really work out he's going to play a musketeer here i'm going to play my um ice spirit and then i'm going to play my little prince right here just to kind of take all of this out i'm also gonna log to get that musketeer and we'll defend that um we didn't do our our signature benny mortar pull on that push but i promise you we will at some point um but anyways a couple tips with this deck first things first please do not do a minor poison push in single elixir okay uh it's not gonna give you very much damage and on top of that it's a lot of elixir to be spending so just try to remember in single elixir um 
try to if you're gonna you can play a minor you can play a poison but try not to play a minor poison push unless they're like defending like crazy and giving you the most insane value ever where like um playing a poison would take out a skeleton army and bats type thing let's go for the evil mortar because he went really aggressive there he's gonna play a cannon there to defend our evil mortar but he's actually he this guy's already lost um we're gonna take that tower very easily and he's definitely gonna get punished i my mentality there with that hog rider was i just played the goblins because i figured like he's a, he's either got to commit to taking them out or he's got to give us a really good elixir trade he's gonna go for the fireball prediction there is our mortar pull because you'll see here you play something to defend it and now we have a counter push going with the mortar shooting on the tower that'll take out the skeletons that's a really nice thing i love playing minor with mortar because of the ability of the mortar to Kind of help defend the miner because the miner's on the tower and the mortar shooting on the tower um so that's always a ton of fun now i'm gonna go for a poison just because you know we're in a double we're in double elixir it's a little bit safer he's probably gonna go for a hog rider and he might take our tower here but we have so much damage now that i'm not super worried um let's just freeze this hog rider hopefully our little prince can get a little bit of good damage there okay we're gonna we're gonna get this win pretty easily um nothing too crazy but i hope you guys enjoyed watching please let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this i love making them let me know what you guys like i love you guys so much please subscribe if you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one